Yo, what it is, everybody. So, One Piece Chapter 1046 is unofficially out. Before we get started, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get straight into it. One Piece Chapter 1046, titled Rise Up. Yeah, so beginning with the cover page, we have two intruders that showed up on Pudding's turf. So I'm guessing this person on the left is probably Reiju and the person on the right is Ichiji coming to save their brothers. I'm not really sure. However, the brothers are no longer on Pudding's turf. The brothers are at Whole Cake Chateau. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Getting into the chapter, we pick up from where we left off last week, right? Luffy and Kaido are still fighting on top of the roof. Luffy's giving him the work. <laughs> but Kaido's just like, I have a question. Who the hell are you? He's that confused at this point. So from here, we cut to a panel. We're getting Zumisha's inner thoughts. She's saying this is like super nostalgia. Can't believe Joy Boy's here. And, you know, this feels so exhilarating. And Zumisha's just getting super excited. So from here, we cut back to Luffy. And Luffy's doing exactly what we always expect him to do. He's saying, listen, I'm Monkey D. Luffy. I'm the man who's going to surpass you and become king of the pirates. And he flashes that big Luffy smile. Like I said, it's just good to know it's not some weird ass Joy Boy possession, but it's actually still our boy Luffy. And from here, we can see that Kaido feels the same. So he's telling Luffy, we can call this an awakening. It's when we get ridiculous power. Yo, Kaido, I don't really know why you helping this man because he's really whooping your ass. You need to be worried about yourself. So Kaido's letting this man know that he's pretty much lost a whole lot in this war. Like he lost everything that he built in wano but he's trying to say like luffy you lost the same thing and then luffy's like nah bro i'm not done i'm taking back everything from you everything that you stole from these people i'm taking back and from here kaido unleashes on luffy with kundari meteor shower which is basically his version of a gatling and it doesn't work luffy kind of just makes his rubber body form around the Kanabo and yeah, you know that these physical attacks, they don't really work on Luffy anymore. And then Luffy returns the attacks right back with a Gatling of his own. At this point, Kaido decides to let Luffy know, listen, uh, your friends, your people, they're all gonna die in this inferno that's underneath us. Like, even if you win here, most of your people are gonna die. And Luffy's like, listen, I don't know if you know how I work, but I left everything below there to them. I have complete trust in them, and I know that they can handle their own business. Kaido tries to hit him with another attack called Devastating Gust, and Luffy kind of just, like, steps over it or makes his feet longer so that it just goes underneath him once again kaido's new moves are a joke pretty much to luffy and from here we cut to the live dome floor and we do see that this fire is way out of control people are panicking chopper finally reunites with nami but they don't know what to do about these flames and we're seeing here that Onigashima is basically just one big flaming rock flying through the air. In the basement, there's fire. On the first floor, the heart pirates, they're on fire. Beppo's a polar bear, so he's not really taking it well. And back in the basement, we see Robin and Brooke. They're pretty much trapped. They don't know of a way out, so it's really not looking good. Sanji's in the pleasure hall with the women. He's got to figure out how he's going to save the women. Even in the basement, we see EBB and Apu, they're trying to put together their own escape plan. But EBB's pissed. He's getting burnt. He don't want to be burnt. Usopp's still attempting to save Kiku and Kinoman. However, he's just running into problems of his own. You know, his, his water stars, they're not working because the fire's just too damn big. And of course, we cut to Frankie. He's actually running around with Zoro, but Zoro's still unconscious. And even while he's unconscious, he still transfers his 
his consciousness to Frankie because Frankie is lost. Something that Frankie does not do on the regular, but instead of Zoro getting lost, Frankie is lost. So <laughs> make sure you leave your thoughts about that in the comment section because that's actually really funny. So on the fourth floor, Jinbei and Raizo actually meet. And this seems to be somewhat of Raizo's plan. I mean, maybe since uh, the beginning of the raid, but he's saying that ever since the day that Odin's castle burnt down, he was ready for something like this because Kaido already did this, I guess, multiple times in the past. I don't know if any of you guys remember, but at the beginning of this fight, when the scabbards actually took on Kaido, Raizo actually captured Kaido's Boro breath in his scroll. So we know that Raizo can capture elements within his scrolls and then release them. And that's exactly what he does here. He took Zunisha's water that she was using to shower with. He captured that in his scroll and he released it inside Onigashima. Then on top of that, he combined with Jinbei because Jinbei can actually control the water like a sea current. Jinbei's actually using the water like a big fire hose, basically. So they basically send the water all around Onigashima. We get to the first floor. We see that killer. He's getting carried out. I, I guess he won his battle. I'm not really sure. I mean, I guess he cut off his arm. So yeah, he won his battle. From here, we cut to Yamato and Momonosuke. Yamato is trying to convince Momonosuke here that Kaido is at his limit and his flame clouds, they're not going to hold. So Momonosuke, you have to produce your own flame clouds. It's your only option. Momonosuke, of course, still freaking out. He's just... Yo, he is not ready for this, but you're going to have to do it, Momonosuke. Please just save us all. From here, we cut back to the final panel of the chapter, and this is what everybody is freaking out about. We get a picture of Luffy grabbing a lightning bolt and getting ready to attack Kaido and Luffy just looks happy as hell. They both do actually. One Piece is on break next week. So yeah, yo, this is crazy. We've never seen Luffy do anything like this before. This is new. He's holding an element. Uh, let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Let me know what you think about how this whole fight is going on in the comment section. And let me know what you think about Raizo's, you know, master plan over here. I know most people don't really care about Raizo that much, but, you know, he is still an integral part to this story arc. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about if Momonosuke can get these flame claws out in time. I'm going to go ahead and give this chapter a 7 out of 10. Wasn't too much going on. It's a chapter featuring Raizo putting out flames in Onigashima. I mean, we still got Luffy and Kaido stuff, but it wasn't really too much going on. It's just Oda trying to clean it up so that we can focus on Luffy and Kaido. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So don't panic. Of course, drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the little notification bell for future notifications. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.